Hello, hello, konnichiwa, this is Zitsuna, and we are back with new Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Chapter 2 Investigation. So, uh, we just talked to everyone, we investigated everything inside the gym, so now we can head back out. Kaito, do you say anything now? Other places we need to look are, first, the pool area, then Ryoma's dorm room, then the Ultimate Tennis Pro's research lab, and finally, the Ultimate Magician's research lab. We've got a lot to work. Uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. So get to it, Shuichi. Yes, sir. Let's head out. Um. Okay. Should we do it in that order? Yeah, I guess we can. Even though it's a bit of a walk, <laughs> if we're just gonna, yeah, because it would be fastest to investigate the research labs first. Um. Should I do that, or should I go by the order that Shuichi and Kaito want? Uh, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll investigate the labs first. An ultimate magician's lab. Hmm. Mm, so this is Himiko's research lab. What were, have you not been in here? What were we gonna investigate again? Mm. The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it works. Zuko. Well, you say that, but what if it was just real magic, with no tricks or mechanisms? Well, that would be a problem. <laughs> but it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. <laughs> yeah, so I guess at first, everyone's like, all together in the gym except for Maki. And then, now like, as we leave, everyone else starts to leave. So who should we... Um, I guess we'll talk to that guy first. Hey, Kokichi. Hey, Shuichi. Did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite, after all. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. <laughs> I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym was off limits during nighttime, so Ryama was probably killed before or after, which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious, since everyone everyone was doing their own thing. And what were you doing then? It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, and I went on top of you, Gonda brought Himiko and Angie. And that was about 5 minutes before 9pm. We're headed after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour, the start of nighttime, but something <clears throat> happened. Something happened? <clears throat> right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9pm. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good, which I was. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Oh, oh yeah, so it, in some ways it's like Kirumi, um, uh, Kirumi is trying to build up her own alibi, but also that, like, yeah, <laughs> she's just fulfilling her request, or his request. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? <laughs> Didn't you ask Kirumi to be your mom earlier? Uh, yeah, she took it seriously. <laughs> she just kept talking, and then finally let me go around 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half hour was a lecture, and then we played tag for the other half. <laughs> she was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave, and then... Flashback! <laughs> Stop right there, our conversation is not over yet. Is this how we get this so we know that he's not lying? I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Is that a request? Oh. <laughs> and then, I guess Kirumi decided to take Tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she called me a little before 10 p.m. And she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So, do your alibis still hold up even when she was chasing you around? 
We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kurumi and Kokichi have alibis. <laughs> I mess with them. After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. Oh, so you did it after. But by the time I returned to Gonda Slab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Oh. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirimi was lecturing me. <clears throat> something odd. <laughs> mm. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. <laughs> it was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. Totally Kaito. A girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Kukichi's account has been added to the truthful section of your monopad. By the way, you did get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you, and what were you doing? Mm. I was running around the whole time. I had in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Mm. Hmm, I see. Oh. Uh, Kokichi... Yeah, Kokichi can definitely tell that Kaito was lying. Which, um, kind of foreshows the fact that, yeah, Kaito was lying. <laughs> and... He was just very, very sick. Or something along those lines. Or that, like, he's the culprit. But mm. obviously that's not true. Huh? You want to hear my alibi for nighttime yesterday again? Okay. For you, Shuichi, I'll tell you as many times as you want. You are my favorite, after all. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Shuichi. Yeah, It'd be easier if I just explain step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regain consciousness, Shuichi, go to Barahimko and Angie. And that was about 5 minutes before 9pm. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorm. I thought I'd be back in an hour, in the start of nighttime, but something happened. Right when Kirimi got to the entrance- Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirimi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9pm. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking, then finally let me go around 10pm, while nighttime rolled around. Then from 9pm until nighttime, both Kirumi and uh, Kokichi have alibis. Don't know why I keep saying missing those up. I finally went to the dorms around or uh, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But, by the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11pm. Then from 10 to 11, he has no alibi. Mm. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirimi was lecturing me. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. <laughs> it was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. <laughs> he was just walking around. I wonder who it was. Oh, you totally know who it was. I mean, what other girl out of this group would just wander around naked? Or half naked? What are you doing here, Tsmoogie? Huh? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating, plainly. Ah, uh, is that so? So, did you find any clues? I'm still thinking about that. Oh. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about them. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found anything. <laughs> then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. Demo. But I think it's... I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. <laughs> Tsmoogie gave Kokichi a meaningful glance. <laughs> I like how they can just say that guy and everyone knows exactly who it is. This is the second time they didn't say Kokichi's name and just said that guy. <laughs> oh. So, I, so I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can ha help out. <laughs> I said that in a weird way. Okay. And I'm guessing she just says the same things. So, um... Let's knock some things over. Uh, because you know we can. And, um... Let's just trash Himiko's room. Okay, um... I think that's everything we can. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why, but this room feels more crowded now. Whoa, wait, what's that back there? What? There's like a grate in the back behind Kaito. Um, I wonder if that's like just behind the room. That's weird. 
Yeah, like what is that um, thing in the back? Is it just like another one of the tanks? Or maybe, oh no, it's probably like a cage for her familiar or some kind of other truck. Okay, <laughs> I'm just getting stuck on odd details. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. Uh, it looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this was this one is backup. That's why Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out here. Yeah. Then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn about the secret of the trick. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. Uh huh. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or a mechanism. What? Uh huh. What's this? There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up there? Ooh. Oh wait, perhaps it isn't random. This segment had to open up here. Water tank trick. Ooh. This is such a specific trick too. <laughs> like for Himiko to do or for Monokuma to just have set up. I guess they're like a bunch of different tricks, so it makes sense, but I don't know. Um, okay, let's check it again. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. Perhaps this is a spare. There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up, but why open up there? Oh, wait, perhaps it isn't random. The segment had to open up here. Okay, and then, um, what else can we... Let's just go through all the other tricks. Saw! What a huge saw. It's probably used for the saw person in half trick. Um, what about... The, um, guillotine. Oh, can we not touch the guillotine? Well, that's sad. <laughs> it's all covered up. Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, so things were moved around for the trick. Okay. That's why everything's, like, smooshed together. Um, the body sawing box. Is this even used from... Or, no. <laughs> Is this used for magic tricks, too? I've seen it in magic shows before. This has nothing to do with the case. <laughs> what about the sword stabbing box? There are several swords stabbed into a human sized box. But if there was a person inside, they would come out just fine. That's the trick, I think. This has nothing to do with the case. What about the birds? They totally have to do with the case. This is a big cage. I might fit inside this. A bud has nothing to do with the case. Finally, um, yeah, that's everything. So we can talk to our best boy, Kaito. Even if it's to solve the case, revealing Himiko's trick is... Well, it makes things kind of boring. Oh, boring? Huh, Kaito, are you the type who wants to believe in magic? Ooh, Kaito believes in Himiko's magic. That's not what I meant. That's not what I mean. I was just thinking that her tricks are like magic that brings smiles to people. Ah, oh, yeah. I guess you could think about it that way. Besides, it's just like my dream to go to space. I believe I can travel across the Milky Way. I believe I'll meet aliens. <laughs> Flying around space with thoughts like that is the true spirit of adventure. Ah, uh, so it's like that. <laughs> Kaito, that's... The stupidest thing I've ever heard. Your idealistic dreams won't help this situation. Huh? <laughs> hey, who you calling stupid? Oh, was Kokichi the first one to call him stupid? Uh, no, no need to yell. <laughs> You're right, can we talk to you again? I know it's not actual magic. Anyway, let's just start the investigation. Start the investigation? Um, I'm. Is that everything? I think that is. What about the monitor? It's a monitor for communicating with us. They really are everywhere. They want us to know we're under their control, but it doesn't have any surveillance equipment to spy on us. Oh, I think that's everything. <laughs> but the Shuichi didn't say that, like, we're still missing something. So, like, oh, I guess we can leave. 
Okay, well, I think we'll leave off there for now. We were able to investigate Himiko's research lab. Very nice. Um, and learn a little bit more about her trick. We didn't learn much, but we got um, Kokichi's alibi, which is big. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!